Hi guys, Emily from Picky Story here. Today I just want to walk you through Picky Story's Shop the Look feature, the three different ways you can display looks in your store, and how to set up Shop the Look with Picky Story. So if you start by navigating to try.pickystory.com, this is our demo store, and across the top here you can see all of the different Picky Story deals. So let's go to Shop the Look and check it out. So the first way you can display Shop the Look is with a gallery. These work really well on dedicated pages, but you can also add them to product pages or pretty much wherever else you would like to as well. So the customer can browse through, find a look they like, and then when they click on it, they can add the separate components to their cart right here. So that's one option. We also have buy the look, which works really well on product pages. So you can see this is a product page for this white t-shirt and we've added a look here where the customers can add these additional t-shirts as well. The third option is great if you want to keep things simple. It's a really simple by the look button. So on your product page for these sunglasses, there's the regular add to cart button and then there's the shop the look button right here. And when you click on that, you see the matching accessories or the other products that you add to your look. So those are the three options. Now let's take a look at setting it up in Picky Story. So we're going to navigate to deals and create a new deal group under shop the look. And we're going to call it looks on product pages because all of these looks will be displayed on our product pages. If we want to display them elsewhere, we can create a new deal group, but for all the looks we want on our product pages, we can add to this deal group. Okay, so let's create a new look. So this is where you can upload the image that goes with your look. If you have a picture of all of the products together, that's great. Something like that works really well. I'm just going to upload a beauty image that I have and we'll create a beauty look. Okay, perfect. If you don't want to offer a discount, just toggle this off. Otherwise, you can choose a percentage-based discount, a fixed amount discount, or a target price. So like three products for $50. Let's just do a basic 10% discount. And the minimum products required is how many products the customer has to add for the discount to be valid. So we'll keep that at three. Here you can edit an existing discount code, or we can just create a new one. We'll just call it beauty look. The code is what the customer sees at the checkout. So we'll call that beauty. And then these messages are what they see to have to add the products and know when they've added enough to get the discount. You can edit those here. Okay, now let's add our products to the look. So we'll add these three beauty products. If you need to search your products, there's a function for that here as well. Cool, looks good, save changes. And now we can see that our look has been created and it's also been added to this deal group here. So now we can look at where we wanna display it. Right now I wanna display it on my product pages, so this is perfect. If you wanna create a dedicated page, especially for your gallery, you can go to selected pages and you'll see your Shopify pages here. But let's stick with product pages for now. And then in the widgets section, you can choose between the three different looks that I showed you earlier. So let's go with the look on the page and the button for now. We won't do the gallery just yet. So the button should appear automatically. The look on the page may need positioning. So let's take it out, check it out. So when you click on set position on page, you'll just be redirected to one of your product pages. And we can see that the look is actually already there on the page. So that's perfect. And then also the shop the look button is there too. Great, so we can go back to the app and then instead of those two options, let's take a look at the gallery. Okay, set position on page. So this one isn't showing up, so what we need to do is drag this box till we find the area where we want to position it, and then drop it. If it doesn't go to the right place right at a time, you can just try again. Sometimes it takes a few goes to get it right. And there we see our look. Perfect, all the products are there. So that's it. That's the three different ways you can display Shop the Look with Picky Story. Have fun.